Well, I've decided it's time to replace the old window ladder line with some good homebrew stuff. This is 14 gauge ladder line and it's pretty good stuff, but uh, I think we can do better with some 12 gauge homebrew ladder line. Now, this is about 50 feet and uh, it goes straight up to uh, the top of this tower. And uh, we got the dogs barking. Goes over to that tree there. And it goes over to that tree there. It's 130 feet long. So we've got a, a, a bracket up at the top of the pole to kind of hold it away from the pole. And then down here toward the bottom, we've got a, a about a two foot PVC pipe to hold it away from the uh, the poles so that the wind doesn't blow and make it twist. And see, we're going down into the uh, the tuner box, and we're all we're outside here. I wanted to keep the tuner outside, and um, so this is an MFJ 998, and we've got uh, some relays here. They are for disconnecting and grounding the antenna, and uh, the tuner power is supplied through a uh, cable down here and we've got some uh, chokes to keep the RF off that line and another uh, choke here an isolation choke uh, where the coax goes into it on the uh, input side of the choke is our ground and uh, then there's coax going up to the back here and there's another choke back here so I've got it choked up pretty good and the idea is to make the tuner float above the RF ground and there's no ballon on the output side so one side of our uh, ladder line goes to the uh, tuner's hot output and the other side goes to ground so the tuner is floating above ground as it were so now we're going to show you how we're building the uh, ladder line. Okay, so here we have our uh, ladder line being constructed. And this is 12 gauge uh, from the wire man. Uh, it's uh, silky, silky wire, so it doesn't get tangled and doesn't have a memory. And um, we've got it tied to the fence here. And then we've got it tied off to a pole 50 feet away so it's spread out just about right and uh, we're using uh, acrylic six inch acrylic insulators and uh, if you take a look at these uh, they're six inches long and hollow and we're using uh, a 14 inch wire tie down through the middle so the wire tie starts on one side goes through the tubing loops around the wire and comes back and then ties against this wire and you can pull it very tight as you can see it's squished up pretty good there so it's not going anywhere and we're using this little frame here as our spacer so that we've got we've got 20 inches of space uh, between each insulator so all we do is uh, take our spacer and lay it out here and we're ready for the next uh, for the next insulator okay now we're going to show you how to install the spreader insulator first you stick the, uh, the wire tie through the insulator then you bring the wire tie around that wire Pull it through. The wire is handy. And just kind of get it sort of in position here. And then we'll take and uh, try to put it through the uh, other end. Like so.
slide everything up to the, uh, the proper point here so we get 20 inches. Looks, uh, looks about right now. Time to tighten it up. And we will uh, get hold of it like so. And pull. And tight. You can see the wires squishing up here and uh, Cut it off, and we're done. So there you go. Okay, so we're all done putting the spreaders on, and look at that! Isn't that beautiful? These acrylic tubes came from some uh, plastic company in Lima, Ohio. I can't remember the name, but they sell it in uh, it's like six or eight foot lengths and I just asked them to cut it up in uh, six inch pieces and they did a nice job. Acrylic is supposed to be resistant to the effects of the sun as well as the black wire ties. These ties are 14 inches long. It makes it a little tight but uh, they're, they're just barely long enough. So uh, if you could get them 18 inches long or something, it'd be a lot easier to work with. But then some of them are a little bit too wide, so you may have to get bigger diameter uh, tubing. So now the next step is I think I'm going to put a dab of uh, super glue on the ends just to kind of stabilize it. Not sure why, but I just feel like it's a good idea. So there she is. And then we can uh, hook it to the antenna and hoist it up. So we're all done. We got the uh, new ladder line installed. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? The sun's a little bright out here. There it goes. See if I can get back here and show you the feed point. The sun isn't too bright. So now we're all ready to test it out and see how it works. Now, as a follow-up to the other video we made on ladder line, here's a close-up of what we did. The wire is silky 12 gauge from the wire man. As you can see, it's hundreds of little strands, and it makes it very soft and flexible. And these tubes, these acrylic tubes, are very, very strong and the wire ties go through the tube and they pull in and pinch the insulation very tight. So we end up with a very strong structure. And notice they don't move at all. Matter of fact, I can do this so hard that it's actually bending the, uh, it's bending the tubes. So, there you have it. That's a good way to make a ladder line. Very strong and secure. Thanks for watching.